You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Psalms 38 and 39, and we'll be reading from the New Living Translation. A Psalm of David asking God to remember him. O Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Your arrows have struck deep, and your blows are crushing me. Because of your anger, my whole body is sick. My health is broken because of my sins. My guilt overwhelms me. It is a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and stink because of my foolish sins. I am bent over and racked with pain. All day long I walk around filled with grief. A raging fever burns within me, and my health is broken. I am exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. You know what I long for, Lord. You hear my every sigh. My heart beats wildly, my strength fails, and I am going blind. My loved ones and friends stay away, fearing my disease. Even my own family stands at a distance. Meanwhile, my enemies lay traps to kill me. Those who wish me harm make plans to ruin me. All day long they plan their treachery. But I am deaf to all their threats. I am silent before them as one who cannot speak. I choose to hear nothing, and I make no reply. For I am waiting for you, O Lord. You must answer for me, O Lord my God. I prayed, Don't let my enemies gloat over me or rejoice at my downfall. I am on the verge of collapse, facing constant pain. But I confess my sins. I am deeply sorry for what I have done. I have many aggressive enemies. They hate me without reason. They repay me evil for good and oppose me for pursuing good. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Do not stand at a distance, my God. Come quickly to help me, O Lord, my Savior. Psalm 39 For Jeduthun, the choir director, a psalm of David. I said to myself, I will watch what I do and not sin in what I say. I will hold my tongue when the ungodly are around me. But as I stood there in silence, not even speaking of good things, the turmoil within me grew worse. The more I thought about it, the hotter I got, igniting a fire of words. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. You have made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire lifetime is just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. Interlude We are merely moving shadows, and all our busy rushing ends in nothing. We heap up wealth, not knowing who will spend it. And so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. Rescue me from my rebellion. Do not let fools mock me. I am silent before you. I won't say a word, for my punishment is from you. But please stop striking me. I am exhausted by the blows from your hand. When you discipline us for our sins, you consume like a moth what is precious to us. Each of us is but a breath. Interlude Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cries for help. Don't ignore my tears, for I am your guest, a traveler passing through, as my ancestors were before me. Leave me alone so I can smile again, before I am gone and exist no more. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege to be able to look at it together today. And Lord, as we look at these psalms, we can see a variety of things. We see that we need to confess our sin before you, and you welcome when we do that. We also see, Lord, that you love us enough to discipline us. 
And Lord, in these passages, we also see a reminder of just how brief our earthly lives are. Lord, sometimes we put so much stock in our earthly lives, thinking that this is all there is. And sometimes we don't give enough thought to eternity. And your goal for our lives is that we give you glory through trusting in your Son, Jesus Christ. So we're grateful, Lord, that we have your promise that we will live forever with you for all time. And we know that that's secure because of our relationship with your Son, Jesus, who rescues us and redeems us and holds us in his hand, promising to keep us secure forever. Lord, we're grateful for these things, and we're grateful for these reminders that we see in your word. Help us, Lord, to make the most of each day that you bless us with, and we pray that we would give you glory during this brief time that we have on this earth. We love you, Lord, and we just thank you for all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. To download a free digital copy of my latest 30-day devotional, Desire Jesus, Volume 4, please visit us online at desirejesus.com.